Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, Justice for All. Last we left off, we made some very important discoveries about any mining, including the fact that perhaps one of two things happened. Either it was her sister who actually died in the car accident, and she got a plastic surgery um, based on her sister's face, so she kind of looks like her now, or... It was not her. It was M Any Miney that died, and uh, Mimi Miney is the one who's alive, and she's taking on Any Miney's identity. So either one of those two things has happened here, and I'm not sure which one it is exactly. I mean, the most likely possibility is that uh, it was Mimi Miney who died, and she got plastic surgery, and she now has her sister's face uh, because they did bring up the plastic surgery. But it, I think it'd be cooler if it was uh, actually Mimi Miney who was alive and Mimi Miney was dead and, sh you know, there was some identity theft that happened. Who knows? Let's just jump right in and see what happens. Alright, so we just got back from the hospital and I think Lada has something to say to us here. Let's see. Ah, but honestly, I tell ya, that granny sure got her bloomers in the knot. Well, I guess you could put it in, put, put it that way. It always starts out small, you know. Stealing the master seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what's it turned into? A murder. That's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That's stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Eh, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. I mean, Nick. It's super obvious that that was like the driving motivation for Morgan's participation in this whole affair, right? She has obviously contributed to this, but I don't think she was the one who directly killed Dr. Gray. There's no way she was. You said something about stealing the master seat. Yep. Right on. Right, right now. The master is this medium named Misty Faye, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master. Yeah, didn't we just hear that from her? I guess we only walked in on her talking to herself. Do you know where Innie is, Lada? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out, that old bat is Misty Face's older sister. Oh. Wait. Was the position stolen away from her? They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway. Somehow, Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sorts of things to her, like, She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the branch family, I reckon. I see. So, she's very salty. Mm -mm -mm. Can I present anything to you? Do you know this person? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's go talk to any mining in the winding way. Where is that? Yeah, this way. Hey, like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Alright, so we're gonna present the Magadama. It was a two lock secret, right? Yep. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Um, oh, oh yeah. 
So like that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. Bullshit. You were right next to her, it was you. You did something. And like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Was she actually in the car with her? How did she survive? And he just asked, whose accident? That's a good point. Maybe. She must know something about another person's accident. Well, maybe Morgan's? Is that... is that why? Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Oh, oh, I think I understand what's happening. Because it was not... no, hold on. Alright, I'm just gonna present her a profile. I think that's the only thing left that's reasonable. I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me? Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, a, an accident? Yeah, I have the newspaper clipping, darling. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Inimani holds interview about crash. Ah. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, wait. What now? Well, that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Inimani, is, like, pretty common. No, it's not. What a... What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Minnie Miney, is in here too. Like, totally, wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm going to let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Uh, yeah. Your license photo from that creepy old guy? Or should I just present that creepy old guy? <laughs> this is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital, where you were hospitalized at. Uh-huh, so? There, were, there was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director! <laughs> she knows. Now are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Oh, actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... Mimi Miney? I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi? You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making a one and the same. Wow, she gave in. Surprise, surprise. She actually gonna tell me? Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. Wait, you fell asleep too? Hmm. And, and then it happened. At the time I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. I don't think this is any though. I think any. I think 
Uh, like at the very beginning of the case, I remember someone who survived the car accident said Innie, right? Implying that Innie was in the car and Innie was the one who died, right? If, if, I think, I think, um, Mimi, I think Innie, it's so confusing. I think the person who survived is telling their side of the story, pretending to be the passenger. But they were the one driving, right? So I think this Innie is actually Mimi, and she was driving, and she saw her sister fall asleep, blah blah blah, and she just took on that story and just rolled with it, right? We'll see, I guess. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Doctor Gray. The Dr. Gray really caused that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills. Like, this doesn't make sense. She just said that she was the one who fell asleep, but the car crashed, right? Wasn't that a slip up? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He told it. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give any a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. Ah, uh, it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. Wait, is she confessing? What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. Ah. Oh, wow. She just confessed. Damn, boy. You are full of shit. What can I even do now? I, am I supposed to present anything? Why is the music going on? Can I present anything? I don't think I can. I, I don't think there's anything I can... I don't understand why the music changed though. Are we gonna run into Morgan or Lada or something? Huh? Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. I'll, uh, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, uh, sorry. This old dude only can show his pistol to cheer people up. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear, ear like that by Morgan. Wow. Wow. Mother. What's up, little girl? Mother. Mother. This has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick. I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. Yeah, obviously something really bad has happened. Your mom has killed somebody. Kind of. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about, what about Miss Sigmaya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Miss Sigmaya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Oof. Alright, do I have to go now? Is that all there is to uh, this location? I think so, right? Attention center. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Do you still have those locks? Hmm. Memory serves. Mia had a few psyche locks of her own. Does she now? Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. 
Wow. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murder? I mean... Uh-oh. Why? Do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, battle of wits against Mia. Oof. So that's locked. Are all of these locked? Are they all separate secrets? There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did, how did the real murderer get into that room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I said! That's what I said, dude! I said that he was hiding inside that box the whole time, or she was. And that's why there's a bullet hole, because uh, Dr. Gray was like, Oh my god, who's that? Boom! I shot. I missed. Dude, I, that's what I was saying. The whole time. God. So I was right about that. So there's no hidden passage. No, there... <sighs> Yeah, there's no hidden passage. Then Maya must have been put in that box, and that's that's what happened. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. That's, that's quite the uh, comparison. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. Are you actually asking me about channel uh, spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, it's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. Power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling. But something our ancestor, Mystic Amy Faye, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Amy was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Am Am Amitabha. Amitabha. I bet you're that real bad, I bet. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Korean sacred urn. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Yeah, come on. Come on. Alright, if we have everything, we must be able to break that lock, right? All those three. The murderer. Phoenix? You think I'm hiding information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> Alright then, tell me who do you think I'm protecting? I mean, the most likely person is Pearl, right? But I doubt Pearl has done anything. So, Morgan? Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she has already... She already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion on my, onto my aunt. Uh, do I have the... Remember, remains found inside the incinerator. Maybe that, because, you know, that shouldn't even, shouldn't even happen there. Because it shouldn't have been there. The proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Yes. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. Obviously that was not the one she was wearing. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her... Oh. Or are we thinking, um, that's when uh, Morgan told us to, like, leave and go call the police. That's when that 
on the exchange happen. I mean, that's that's the only time really, because we saw the blood on the on the nurse um, who shot Dr. Gray. Changed her clothes, but why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was talking, taking care of Maya, my aunt. What's that look mean? <laughs> Her argument is too flimsy. Huh? We have no proof that this piece of cloud is actually from Maya's costume. But this blood. And do you know whose blood that is at this point in time? You don't, do you? Do you have any proof that the piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Uh, do I? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I present the clothing box? Nope. Phoenix, we don't have t any time left. I haven't even said anything yet. Wow, she knew. She knew. Is it the key? Because the key was outside. In the incinerator. But I think that was a total accident. I think she just forgot that was in her costume. I think this is pr the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? That thing again, yeah. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key, and yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. And this is what Maya told me. While I was, while I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. Why would it be inside your sleeve, dog? And both this key and the piece of cloth were f and both this key and the piece of cloth were found in the incinerator. Which means that this piece of clothing was part of Maya's costume. It would certainly seem that way. Some someone changed her into a different set of clothes. And then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. Why did it take them so long to burn it though? There's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. Exactly, my aunt. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, is it not enough? Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me, but... I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? You mean she needed any money, what else? Any money? She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and any money were in cahoots. That's what I've been saying the whole time. <laughs> I think it, it's been quite obvious. I mean, there, there was no other way any mining could have killed without Morgan knowing, you know? Or Morgan even, you know, properly giving her the things that she needed to kill Dr. Gray. Their motivations kind of just align, you know. Morgan just needed someone to die and Inumani needed Dr. Gray to die, so there you go. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about May Fanner and the village itself to do this. Yeah, I mean, they've been around for a while, but Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that any money is involved somehow. But, but we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. We- What are you talking about? Of course we do! We have both their motives! Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? It was not that she needed to kill Dr. Gray. She just wanted to kill something get somebody killed and put it on uh, Maya so she can get the position why would she have to also we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with any it was sort of like a revenge plot too because Maya's uh, Amy's daughter right and she hates Amy also we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with any Mia doesn't have a clue either huh 
then there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because... Mother, she is the one who holds the key to this. Yeah. Amy. Mother, who's mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Faye. Oh, Misty. I'm sorry. Did I keep saying Amy? I meant Misty. Me and Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. Oh my gosh. To be continued finally. Finally, we get a point where we can actually stop. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Any Miney just clearly uh, confessed <laughs> while we were investigating. Yeah, Morgan is very obviously involved in this as well. Um, the motives. Well, I, I don't know if she was going to become um, the chair after four years anyway, or if there was the possibility of Maya taking that position away from her. And that's why she um, kind of uh, had to uh, pin a crime on Maya so she can get rid of her. Or if it was just purely out of revenge. Um, I doubt it was purely out of revenge. I think it has something to do with the position. I honestly think uh, while we were talking to Innie Miney, she kind of slipped up with the whole who was actually asleep thing. Uh, I don't know if that was just me missing, like, not reading it correctly or understanding it correctly. But I guess I'll see when I'm editing this video. Um, but I, 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 I think what happened, she, she said she was in the passenger seat and she was the one who fell asleep. She never mentioned that her, her sister was the one who fell asleep and that's why the car crashed. And plus there's the whole thing where in the opening cinematic or the cutscene at the very beginning of the case, someone said any, right, when the car crashed. And I, that, that would just mean any Miney was the one who died in the car crash, right? So the one who died in the car crash was the passenger and not the driver. So maybe Miney is the one who survived and she got her plastic surgery. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.